United Tribes is, is actually really fun. And right now I'm teaching my classes online. I don't know how long that will last. Of course, since the pandemic, um, a lot of classes have gone online and a lot of students don't want to go back. But we still, you know, have some students and, and I would say especially newer students who are like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I want the hands-on stuff. Like, I don't want to just watch you peel a squash online. I want to be there in front of you teaching me how to do this so that we can, you know, hang it on this rack behind us and dry it together and, you know, and apply that knowledge. So my classes at United Tribes Technical College really focus a lot on hands-on education, project-based learning, also on like, what do I want my students to know in order, um, you know, not necessarily even to get a job but to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So so my views actually on education have changed a lot in the last few years. I used to really focus on the idea that I wanted my students to be able to get a good job. And now I'm kind of like, F that, you know? <laughs> I really want them to be able to take care of themselves and their families and their communities. And if that means that they can grow all their own food, build themselves a house and, you know, make sure that they have access to clean air and water, then that's, that's really, you know, what more could I ask for as an instructor? You know, can they heal themselves and their families and their communities when people are sick? Can they feed themselves when people are hungry? Um, you know, those are the questions I really ask myself now. And, and that's a lot of what I teach. I don't just tell them that indigenous people, you know, their people air dry squash, to use later in soups and stews. I give them squash or have them grow the squash and then I teach them how to cut it, hang it, dry it, and then cook it. You know, that process from the very beginning, starting with those seeds, the seed saving and uh, what different seeds are to different people, and then way through to the actual consumption of the food. And it's really important for me to focus on how is this not just food, <laughs> how is this not just food, but how is it medicine as well? What is, you know, a squash going to do for you physically, emotionally, spiritually, uh, besides just provide calories, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and we do that.